Good afternoon. Um, my name is Takesha and we're doing another workshop from Care to Vent. Today we'll be talking about problem solvers, tips on working through day-to-day -day problems in your life. Outline introduction, what is problem solving? Why do we uh, need to know how to problem solve? What happens if we do not use problem solving skills? Tips to help with problem solving. Introductions. We often think about um, math class when you're thinking about problem solving, but that's not what I'm, I'm here to talk about today. This kind of problem solving involves a set of steps one uses to maintain structure in their daily life. These steps are key components to maintaining relationships, employment, or just talking about, uh, just talking to someone. Um, the steps can be used to uh, diffuse unnecessary altercations that may arise from miscommunication or frustration. So what is problem solving? Um, problem solving is the process uh, by which one discovers and analyzes how to solve a problem. Um, the main object is to overcome an obstacle that uh, stands in your way. It boils down to um, simply just finding a solution to dealing with what your main issue is. Um, learning and using problem solving skills can help uh, keep human uh, interaction peaceful. Why do we need problem solving? Because uh, problem solving is important to individuals and organizations. Problem solving allows us to uh, regain control over our environment, meaning that whatever problem that we're having, um, we have to have these set of steps to take control over. So if um, you're having a problem being late, you got to figure out why you consistently always late all the time. So that right there is problematic because if you always late, you do not want to be fired from your job. Um, also, it helps us to make uh, make changes to our routine. So, for example, um, our productivity uh, is declining. Um, when you are faced with issues and we don't address them, like uh, like not enough people working, too many distractions, a heavy workload, these uh, the need for more training. So, when your productivity is declining, you have to want to look at the, these uh, issues right here. Um, so the problem solvers give us a set of tools that allow us to identify the problem around us. For example, so uh, for a worker indicates they need more training. So if your productivity is declining because your workers does not have the necessary training, that is problematic right there. Skills can affect the way someone performs at work, including issues such as uh, not addressing one performance is slacking or having uh, underlying issues with another coworker. So you have to have problem solving skills to say, hey, go to your supervisor to say, hey, um, I'm having an issue with so and so and so forth. You cannot just get into a brawl out match like you're in a boxing ring. That is not professional work. So just like if your boss is having a, um, an issue with your performance, the problem is your boss needs to come to talk to you about the performance while your performance is slacking and they might get to the underlying issue that you might have some things going on. Um, as a parent, not addressing problematic issues with your children can lead to behavior problems or poor performance in class, among other issues. So if you see underlying issues with your child, um, could be your child might have a learning disability or your child probably have ADHD. So if your child is the, uh, at the point where they're not sitting still, sitting still, you might want to address those issues with your child primary care doctor because those could affect the way your child performs in life and also performs at school. Um, it can also involve money management too. If you're not paying your bills, you can be faced with eviction, disconnection, or repossession. You have to address the problems talking to your landlord, uh, talking about where the money is going. So say like if, um, like now, doing um, COVID, we're noticing a lot of people are facing evictions because they weren't um, able to pay the rent. So you have some landlords that are not douche pens and they will have the kind kindness of the heart to listen. Then, then you got others that, that just simply don't care. They want the money. I'm talking to your landlord saying, hey, I have a reduction in hours. This uh, could happen. I'm looking to search for some more, but um, I can get you this. Hopefully that talking to them in a calm and presentable matter uh, with some documentation showing that these things are going on, they can be able to show some type of leniency to uh, help you out. 
um, when it comes down to in relationship, people do not like uh, having uncomfortable conversations. Some people storm off and when they get mad, um, they think of it as um, they problem solving is having makeup sex. When this uh, uh, when this happens, has the problem ever, did you actually actually solve the problem? So if you're having a conversation with your partner and y'all just storm off and nothing is resolved and y'all have makeup sex, the problem is after the sex has gone and died down, you still gonna have that same issue that you was feeling about uh, before you had sex. So being able to have proper communications with people allows you to solve the problems that you need to. You have to effectively listen to one another to get the uh, issues addressed. Um, that's how you solve your problems. Problem solving skills, identify the problems. Why is this step apart without knowing what the problem is? Uh, examples, I keep overdrafting my cap. Is it possible to find a solution? Um, defining the problem means understanding what the problem is. My account is always overdraft because I'm overspending and have too many bills set up on auto, uh, auto pay. So to form a strategy, uh, when you form a strategy, you got to consider a solution, alternatives, options, what I can do realistically to resolve this problem. Let's see what are some things I can do to eliminate my account from being overdraft. Um, I can take some things off of auto pay. Um, I can put away money on another cart or something for things like if you want to take off a of Hulu, Netflix, just little things like that. Um, so you can do things like that. Organize information. Do I know, know about everything that is coming out of my account and why? Why do you need to know about everything that's coming out of your account? Because you need to know what priority these things are. So is really a Hulu if that important that you keep having Hulu overdraft your account? Is it that important? Um, so you have to look at those things like that. Say, huh, um, Hulu is like $13.99 and it keeps overdrafting my account. Um, but I keep getting a hit with a $34 insufficient for fun. Is that that's not funny because for $13, you end up, so you now paying like $50 now. So yeah, you paying $50 now. And the overdraft fees is not just for one, um, for everything or your account that you overdraft. You get a $34 fee for each thing that you overdraft. So you have to take a look at it. So if you know you just paid your rent, just paid your tuition or in your card and things like that. Those are mainly bills that have to be paid. So you have to keep an account for that. But all the little things like the, the Netflix and the, uh, the Amazon, stuff like that, be aware that those little things can sneak up on you and can um, hurt your account. Uh, they can hurt your account. We're to the point, like I said, uh, $5.99. Amazon took $5.99 at your account for their prime. And then you end up paying $34. Um, that doesn't make sense. So you have to, to really locate those things. And I think it's allocating resources. What resources do could I use with this problem? Okay, resources like let's take off overdraft pay. Um, do you really need to have them um, pay for things that you cannot afford? So if you do not have the money in your account, that's a resource right there. Do not spend money out of your account that you do not have. Um, stop auto pay. Um, take things like Hulu and stuff off of auto pay, which some of them can't be taken off of auto pay, but do you really, really need them? So do you really, really need these things? Problem solve skin. Ask questions once you um once you understood what the problem is. Ask questions. Ask your bank what uh could they do for you? Ask your landlord what they, uh, how could, how flexible could they be? So say like if you're, if you get unemployment and you're only getting 1200 and your rent is like um, $1,300. Ask the landlord, can I please pay $500 because you have other expenses, especially if you have other kids, to, if you have children and stuff to take care of. Um, listen, a lot of problems come up through miscommunication. Figure out what are the other sides is really trying to say to you. So have to stop and listen. Um, 
So if your partner's saying something and you're not quite understanding and they're not quite understanding you, that's where the communication is. Somebody have to be the active listener and just shut their mouth. Like, okay, just please be quiet. Be the active listener. So to um, get rid of miscommunications, you have to be after this breathe. It's always help uh, take a take a step back, take a breather and recess so that you have a new perspective on the problem. So if something is aggravating me now and I'm not getting the results right now, you need to take a step away from that because go, keep going at it, charge it, at it. You're not going to get the results that you're looking for. You're going to end up mismanaging something because you doing things when it's not at a convenient time. Try again. Not every attempt you will make will work out the first time. Stay resilient and keep trying, depending on what it is and what is important to you. So if you have things like you wanted to go to school, you was not able to pass your class a semester, don't fret. Guess what? You can take the class over again. That's the great thing about it. Like if you didn't pass it, don't fret. You can take the class over again. Um, if your bank account got uh, overdraft, don't fret. Yes, uh, you got to pull the money somewhere. So you know that when you get paid that's coming in next week or if you get paid this week, you have to be a little bit tight on your budget to pay for the things that you overspent. So if you plan on going to that good Halloween party, that's not in your plan this week. So you have to be a more mature adult to say, you know what, I cannot do it. I cannot go. Um, so you know, that trip that you want, maybe not in your forecast this year or next year. Um, maybe you have to take something a little bit cheaper. So it's nothing to get upset about, nothing to get angry about. Just stop it and just put a pause on some things and regroup to understand what is more important to you. That's basically what problem solving skills is, is figuring out a solution for the immediate needs. Um, what I could put on the back burner and what I could solve right now. That's basically what problem solving skills are. So thank you for tuning into our problem solving um, skills workshop. And here go some resources, Kemper, um, well mind, um, empowering, and slides by the uh, slide camera. So thank you for tuning into our workshop. Look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good afternoon.